Welcome guys, today I am going to show you how to crack a website password and username using uh, Kali Linux. So basically the requirements are we need a tool named WFS which basically runs Python scripts and help us to crack the password using some brute force attack. Basically the brute force attack means we give a number of uh, passwords and uh, usernames in a txt file. It combines all those passwords and for each combination of the password it tests whether the request we send to the website uh, responds with a 200 status or any other status. If it's a 200 status code, it means the password and username were correct and this login has been successfully done. Now, let's start with installation of WFS. Now, to install the WFS, the first command we need is to clone this repository from GitHub which is git clone https github.com xmenz uh, wfs.git copy this uh, command and open your uh, linux go to the terminal and paste this line i have already installed so i am not doing it again After executing this command, it will download the whole uh, WFS tool. Now, the second command which we need is cd wfs to go into the wfs directory. As I told, I have the wfs. Uh, I don't need to download it. Uh, now, I can go directly to wfs. So here uh, I entered into the WFS directory. Now I can show you the list of commands, uh, list of files that are uh, in the WFS app. The main file which we required are this source file because it has source. Now I will go to source, cd src source and show you. Now the requirements are we need a password.txt file the username.txt file and wfus cli.py now uh, a question arises how to get a username.txt file and password.txt file for this i have a cool website known as portsvigor.com you have to first uh, register into it, register for this uh, website and then log in us using your credentials now i have already logged in into my account then i go to all labs in all labs, there are many types of attacks like S SQL injection, then XSS attacks, clickjacking, DOM based vulnerabilities, XML external entity injection, server sites, uh, HTTP request smuggling, etc. 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 We need authentication attacks. Okay, this is authentication attacks. So, for this video, we will go with username enumeration. We have different responses. Click on this link. You will be directed to a page where you can get all the username, all the usernames. Copy this whole, uh, copy this whole content, and then go to your uh, Kali Linux and go to this WFS app. Okay. Then go to source and. Pay, create a new file named as uh, username and password.txt in password.txt paste all that uh, paste all the uh, contents which you copied from there and same as for username.txt paste all the usernames in uh, this file so the two requirements are completed which are username and password this is a uh, usernames uh, and you can all similarly get passwords now the main thing is the site which has to be accessed so click on access the lab and go to my account so you can see here there is a login form which has a first username and password so what we need to do is for every combination we need to put into a header into the url a, with the parameters like username is equals to 
your submitted username and password is equals to that password from txt file submitted password for let's take an example so now we need for hacking this site we need three things basically which are the name field of both of this username and password the type of request which is generated the page to which the request will be sent and there is one more thing which is cookie so how to get all of this information so for this information just type a random username and password to this and then uh, go to inspect element open network then click on login now you see there are many things which we got the main thing from which we can get our data is this login click on login there will be a large information about what the request and respond response has been uh, now the basically what we need are request url to which the post request has been sent go to preview uh, don't need response uh, response timing initiated timing. cookies go to cookies and you can see that there is a ses name session and its value is this we need this value we need uh, this this request url value and the main thing which will we will do is first take combination of all the username and password post it to this url and check if the response has been 200 or not so let's do it open your uh, kali linux open your kali linux as i as you can see i already in source uh, location now type a command which says python w first cli dot py minus c minus z then file username dot txt which we have already uh, covered uh, previously z minus z file password dot txt same minus b then this cookie you can see this cookie this is a string which will be used for setting our cookie and minus b is used to set the cookie now the cookie value we can get from here cookies copy this value which is given here copy this value control c and paste it here okay the cookie value has been pasted minus d minus d is used for posting the data which i saw you in the url so the field is username how to get, know what is the field name so go to payloads and see views uh, view uh, view source you can see that the name is username and password it may be anything but for this the this and this uh, name is common so use this uh, use this parameters username equals to fuzz what is fuzz is our username dot txt one element from user dot txt what is fuzz 2z which is this is uh, like password dot txt one element so one element of user dot txt is brute forced with all the elements of password dot txt and it will continue till the username.txt elements are not over. So this is basically a brute force attack. Minus u, this is this you can see minus u means to which the request has to be po posted. So this is the site to which the request has to be posted. So first, okay, I deleted some other thing. Uh, 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 uh. now we need to again uh, set the cookie value cookie equals the copy pasted value paste this is our cookie value this is d this is minus u and now we need to uh, copy the link of the of this 
headers copy this link copy and then go to Kali Linux paste the link so here you can see that our all the requirements have been done now press enter it will start generating all the possible values now total request can be 264 and as we copied all the values from that file uh, they were the values which are accessible so for every value it should uh, respond with a status co code of 200 so you can see that every like uh, you can see here so in our uh, username there is an element root and password there is an element 12345678 so root will be compared uh, you, you root will be combine, uh, combined with every element in password.txt like you can see root 12345678 then up to 6 then carlos root carlos root so this is how we cracked a username and password application using the tool wfs the total time it took for generating this much request is 26.3 something seconds uh, the process request are 264 and as we didn't use any filter it uh, shows zero the request per second requests per, per second sent to the server are 10.3 requests uh, sorry 10.035597 request so this is all i hope you like it Thank you.